Hey guys, so I'm going to explain real quick how the um, fresh water tank is connected up. If you want to come on down a little closer here again, we, we installed our uh, supply connectors or our supply setup through the outside of the van over here. Our, can, our tank's sitting in, going to sit right here. I've just got it temporarily sitting down in here. But what you want to do is, again, this one has, this is the supply for if you just hook a hose and just fill it. Uh, this is the one if you actually want to have a, uh, you know, connect up a garden hose or at, a, at an RV park and have it running directly to the faucet. Uh, you, can, you can use that one. We're not going to use that guy for right now yet. Um, but for now, we get this large hose connects to this connector and then we connect this large end to up here on top after you got to cut that plastic piece out and then this threads in to, to, to supply the main supply on top. The, this little hole is for the air displacement for the tank. So that one also needs to be up high so we'll punch this hole out. This one goes there. This small clear hose runs from that one to this little guy and then our another one like this it goes down at the bottom down here and that's where the actual supply water will run up to the pump that's going to be mounted over here on this side so the idea is that you need that little water or the air displacement one for over here up high so that when you're running your you're filling your water in the water's obviously going to start down here in the bottom as it's filling the air has to go somewhere so it comes out through that pipe and goes out through here and that way as soon as you water starts coming out through this hole as you're filling is when you know your tank is totally hey, so got everything hooked up now uh, here's how this all works again for right now this is the the water intake pump into it directly um, runs right to the top here of the our big supply tank um, again this is the air outlet location you can kind of see that Whoop, down there down the water coming out of the tank Let's flip that around a little from down at the bottom which makes sense right as the water water easier to drain it from the bottom of the tank than the top so that line I just ran this guy here and we may have to upgrade this high, this hose down the road here I'm gonna see how well this holds up for right now but uh, um, basically just connected it up to uh, our old line that was running to the pump and so far it's uh, everything's holding water just fine uh, we haven't put it under a lot of pressure here we're going to do that momentarily but uh got our power running to the pump and once i know it's good i'll cover this up with some electrical tape and make sure that's all protected but uh, all of our lines are hooked up this is the hot supply we just cap that off for now i'm sure there's probably more elegant ways to do it but that's what we came up with from <laughs> working with the uh, people at the hardware store that didn't know what we were doing and didn't know what parts we were looking for last winter but uh and again for right now we're not setting it up to do uh this line is the one if you want to have connect up at an rv park or at somebody's house and have your hose running directly to the faucet normally what we'd also would do is have we're going to do this later a line coming from here and then uh up here we'll have a T and a shutoff valve. And so what will happen is you can shut the valve off and separate the, the pump part. And then the water would just simply come right from uh, the a hose right directly to the, the cold water supply. So get your water directly from the hose that way. All right, so with a cold, <laughs> working on the plumbing. So what you want to do um, if this is a little more of a traditional system here, we're going with the uh, classic J trap here and a normal tail piece, they call that. And uh, again, you need a J if, if you have a gray tank or you have a larger holding tank, gases build up in there and it's stinky. And the point of a J trap is if after you run the water and it runs through, a little bit of water stays in the bottom down here. And that way it stops those stinky gases from coming up and coming back up through your drain and making your, your space stink. So and our gray tank is right directly below the, underneath this here. And so I've pre-cut all of my parts here. We've got this connector to the, the J-trap part. 
and all the rest of this is going to be solid is solid pvc and so if any of you haven't done any pvc work it's fairly simple you got a cleaner and you got your glue and so what you want to do is you have to clean both sides i'm going to put some cleaner on the inside of the that part and then a thorough part on the other side let that sit for a few seconds then you put your glue on you gotta make sure it's covering the entire surface and you put it on there push it in and then just do a quarter turn kind of slowly and it'll set up right as you're doing it and you want to have a rag handy which i don't have oh here we go to wipe off that extra and don't want it eating up our, our, our fresh tank you wipe off that little bit of extra and then you move on to your next part so right now that's already setting that's just totally in place if i really tweaked on it i could probably pull it out but over the course of a minute or two it's going to totally have a chemical reaction in there seal that all up and connect it together so this is my next piece so again see in this way the j is able to move around and be flexible so I can align it with my pipe going down here. It's gonna go there next and uh, finish her up. We're gonna connect up right directly below. We'll run right down into the gray tank and, uh, and then I'll have the gray tank be able to drain the way we need to drain it, so. Our handy little setup, I bought this cheap pump and uh, if you've got the ability to run and load up on water and bring it back to your rig. You can just uh, use this little guy. We got it plugged in here to the actual battery. I use my my jumper cables to just hook it right up to the to the battery here. And uh, this way, we have our car, so we're going to make a run to get water. So we can go ahead and use this to fill up her tank here and uh, go get more water. So and this one will be easy to gauge how much is in there because you can see it real well see right now we're about half full so see how much seven gallons how close that puts us to the top of the tank here okay so we're getting fairly close here you can see there's the water line so again as soon as the water catches up to that to this this guy the water will come through this line and it'll poke it'll come out the hole there and you'll know you're as full as you can get Yep. All right, so there you go. That's how you know it's full. So you can see, see that line is totally full of water now. So you can see that's how, how close to the top you can get. Be sure your tank is well below your intakes. What do we got here? Woo! Very loud pump. That particular one is quite loud if you uh, <laughs> want to go with a nicer, quieter one. Do it, no leaks.